Hi learners, it's good to see you again. So today's chapter of discussion is a lot about food stuff. So let's begin. As usual, I will begin this discussion with a question. What do you use? What a silly question, right? See, you use substances in your regular life, isn't it? We use substances like lemon, tamarind, salt, sugar, vinegar, etc. So tell me guys, do all they have same taste? Of course not. See, we are talking about edible substances, so we can taste them. Keep in mind, not all substances, they can be tasted. So never try anything silly. Anyways, so let us see the different tastes. I mean the substance, how do different, how do they taste different? Edible substances, I mean. So lemon juice, yes. And orange juice. How about curd? Tamarind, emily, sugar, salt, grapes, unripe mango, or kacha mango, cucumber. Ha, <laughs> my mouth is really watering now. Anyways, some of the substances that I discussed, some of them, they taste sour, some they taste bitter, some sweet and some salty. So what is it that makes all the substances taste different? Yes, of course it has to be some property of the substance itself, which gives it distinctive taste. And hence our today's chapter of discussion is your chapter number 5th, Acid, Bases and Salts. So now you can easily guess what is it which makes all the substances taste different. It's the acidity or basic nature of the substances. So the substances like curd, lemon juice, orange juice, vinegar, they all taste sour, isn't it? They taste sour because they have acid in them, or better say they are acidic in nature. In fact, the word acid, it is derived from the Latin word A-C-E-R-E, -E, acre, which means sour. Now see, which means that all the acids, they should taste sour, isn't it? But please guys, it is my humble request that do not ever try to taste or touch any acid unless you are asked to do by some teacher or some senior. Okay, so now what about baking soda? Does it taste sour? Yes? No? Of course, it doesn't taste sour. It, it is in fact bitter in taste, which means that it does not contain any acid in it, which indirectly means that it is basic in nature. Look, any substance, it can be either acidic or basic or neutral. Anything else is not possible in this universe. So, if a substance, it contains acid, it is acidic. If it does not contain, contain acid, it is basic. As simple as that. Also, I don't know if you have tried this or not, but if you rub the baking soda between two of your fingers, you will see that it feels soapy. So such substances which taste bitter are actually bases and the nature of substances is said to be basic nature. Now, as I told you that not all substances, they can be tasted. So how will you get to know that? Yes, this substance is acidic or yes, this substance is basic. There has to be a way out. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, yes, I got it. There are actually few substances which are used to test whether substance is acidic or basic. Such substances are called as indicators. Now these indicators, they change their color when any acidic or basic substance is added in them. So some of the indicators which occur naturally are turmeric, haldi, china rose, petals, and we use litmus also as an indicator. These are some of the natural indicators that is they occur in nature. So comes our next topic, natural indicators around us. So the first comes litmus, a natural dye, dye, D-Y-E dye. This litmus, it is the most commonly used indicator to test the acidity or bas basicity of the substance. It is obtained in nature from lichens. It is extracted from lichens basically. If we had distilled water in it, distilled water is nothing but demineralized water. It is that pure water we can say. So if I talk in terms of acidity or, acidity or basicity, it is neither acidic nor basic. So it is neutral. So when you put this neutral distilled water in litmus, it turns out to become purple colored which means that litmus would become purple in neutral solutions. Now when this litmus is added to any acidic solution, it turns to be red. And similarly, when we put it in basic solution, it turns to change out its color to blue. Now commercially, we can see that it is available as solution or mostly as strips, litmus paper strips. Usually a blue, blue litmus paper and a red litmus paper strips. 